In Genesis, we are called to be stewards of the earth. And as Anglicans, we commit to the fifth mark of mission, which says to strive to safeguard the integrity of creation and sustain and renew the life of the earth. Are we actually taking this fundamental statement of our faith seriously when the Anglican Church continues to invest in fossil fuels, which are destroying the planet? As Christians, we need to stop burying our heads in the sand and avoiding speaking truth to power. By respecting political systems built on backhanders and an unhealthy relationship with fossil fuel companies, we are not standing up for humanity or the planet. We need to open our eyes to the fact that we cannot expect unlimited financial growth on a finite planet. We can't continue to exploit the resources of the earth as we do in the West without consequences for us all. Rather than leading by example and divesting, the Church of England has continued to invest in fossil fuel companies. Currently, only three English dioceses have divested from fossil fuels. This is not good enough. The Church invests over £70 million in fossil fuels. When I prayed about my giving and decided how much to give to my local church, I did not expect my money to be used for this. I am appalled that the church has directly invested in Shell, who have continued fossil fuel exploration in the Niger Delta, a place where already so many lives and livelihoods have been destroyed by the oil industry. If we exploit creation or humanity and perpetrate climate injustices, how can we say we are committed to following Jesus and living a life where love for God and others is at the centre of our belief system? As Christians, we need to be unafraid to fight for just changes that will make a difference to the planet. We can't expect individuals to make changes in their own lives when national institutions such as the church still invest in fossil fuels. There is no planet B. The climate crisis is the most urgent issue of our generation. We cannot put things off, thinking that someone else will devise a solution if we wait long enough. Being passive bystanders is not an option. Throughout history, Christians have taken a stand against injustice and exploitation. We need to do that now.